Hello everyone, today I'm going to tell you what is the difference between getting a Valplast partial, which is metal free, or a metal based traditional partial denture. It's about security. What is that supposed to mean? This is Dr. Tamisha Dennis and this is The Modern Smile. So let's say you're considering getting a partial denture, but you want to know whether or not you should get one of these or you should get one of these. Now there are benefits and disadvantages and I'm going to give you the brief version. Mr. DeMille, do you mind if I say a few words? Thank you. Of course, my first option to replace missing teeth is always to do implants. However, sometimes economically it just doesn't work out for people or sometimes they need something in the meantime to fill in those empty spaces while they're waiting for their um, finances to come through so they can get implants. So Show me the money. <laughs> so if you're trying to decide whether to get a Valplast or a metal free partial or to get a traditional metal based denture um, or partial denture, I'm going to tell you the difference between them. Very well. Where do I begin? Let's talk about Valplast partials or metal free partial dentures. The first thing about them that's really good is they're very cosmetic. And one of the nice things also is that they're very flexible. So what you have is this um, thermoplastic material, meaning if you warm it up, it can kind of move around. And that thermoplastic material, because it's all metal free, when you snap it in, it pretty much goes completely undetected. So let's say you're missing some teeth in certain areas and you put in a Valplast partial, which is a very simple procedure for the dentist to do. You um, snap it in and nobody's none the wiser. Okay. Now, if you get a metal-based partial denture, there is a metal framework that goes at the bottom that holds all the teeth in place. Now, depending on if you get it on top and bottom, if you go like this, maybe somebody will see if you go like that maybe somebody will see going in the roof of your mouth it is definitely the less cosmetic option however there is something very important as far as the difference between them so like i said there's cosmetic differences and kind of the fit and feel of the metal in your mouth versus the thermoplastic flexible material but what i want to point out which is the most important i think choice for whether or not you should get um, either or is the fact that a Valplast partial or a metal free flexible base partial is not able to be modified if in the future something happens to the other teeth you still have. So I'm going to say that again in a way that's a little slower and makes more sense. If you lose an additional tooth that is natural and you want to add a tooth to your metal free partial, you cannot do it. If you have a metal based partial, which is based in acrylic, a more rigid material, let's say you lose an additional tooth, the dentist can take your metal partial back, pull the tooth that needs to be pulled, and send it back to the lab for them to add another tooth. So when I see a patient and we're trying to decide whether they're going to get a metal free partial or a metal partial, what I use to determine is the health of their existing teeth so if they have some teeth that are kind of like iffy I don't know if that's one's gonna make it that one's kind of shaky I do not encourage them to get one of those flexible base partials because what will happen down the line maybe in a year um, lose a tooth you have to make a completely new partial now if you have a metal framework partial and you lose a tooth you can have that tooth pulled or modified or whatever and have the lab add an additional tooth to that partial so yes there's all kinds of differences between whether or not you should get a metal free or a metal one but that is the key that is the most important determining factor of course if you're still concerned about cosmetics, you don't have to have that little silver ring going around your teeth. They also make 
valclasp clasp. So that means you still have a metal base partial, but the part that is on the front part is in a pink material so nobody can see. So you don't have to sacrifice cosmetics in order to still get a metal base partial. And I think that is so important. I am the kind of dentist that does not want to waste anyone's money. So if I think that you are going to have to revisit something again, I will let you know in advance. And most people are just fine with me helping them save money. So I hope that that was a really great tip for you if you're on the um, line between deciding which partial denture that you should get and consider the disadvantages and advantages of getting a metal-based partial versus a metal-free flexible Valplast partial. This is Dr. Tamisha Dennis and this is The Modern Smile. I hope you found that this, this information was useful for you today. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you for watching.